boys and girls. Let's see how long this takes us here. 611. Right, so let's just place you there. Okay, so 611 is a start time. We're going to make dinner. And we're going to see how long this takes us. Start off, we got to get our veggies. we got some extra time. So first off, to cook a meal like this in the truck, you do need a little bit extra time. So you need your loaf pan. We've got our stove to go plugged in. Starting to warm up. Or heat up and we're going to open up we're going to have i should have showed you there quickly but i'll show you in a minute and we decided we're not going to have corn with dinner tonight we're going to have mixed veggies Ooh, yucky well that was dumb jerry did it make it yeah looks like it did oh yeah baby now i'm not going to eat all these in one sitting okay so this is why you have to have some Tupperware with you in the truck. This will be two meals, actually, out of this. Ooh, that kind of thing went boop, right into my face. Almost. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to take our mixed veggies. And we're going to put it in the Burton. Let's get going here. And we got to get on to phase two of our meal. Which is the potatoes. Alrighty. Okay, so we're going to put the can away, obviously. I think I should have emptied up my garbage first. Okay, so we're going to need a kettle, obviously. And, uh, well, we may as well pull all our Tupperware out for now. Okay, so we're going to need uh, definitely one for uh, the mixed veggies, which we're not going to need all right away. So we're just going to put that there. Actually, we'll take one out because we're going to need it for the potatoes afterwards. The powder. Because I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it in a minute. Okay, so we're going to have mashed potatoes with our deal. Meal, deal, meal, 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 the deal tonight. Okay, so you're going to need a kettle such as this. Uh, Road Pro sold at any of the truck stops. Uh, the Burton one, they, Burton used to have one this design. They don't anymore. They've got this other square thing, which I think is crap, to be honest with you. I don't like them. But we need this. So, this is the same kettle I use for my coffee in the morning. And now, we don't want to fill it up all the way. Okay. Sorry, I know I just put this straight in front of you, didn't I? Okay, so we're going to fill her up about, not quite halfway. We'll show you there. Think. All right, that way it'll boil a little bit quicker. Now, one thing you want to do is be careful, guys, because you're cooking in your trucks, right? You've got your back outlets. We've got a, a, a plug there. We've got a plug over here for the TV and a plug down below, okay? But all th or two, of, two of them, I believe, yeah, the... the that one and the one down below run off the same one, and that one runs off of a different one? No. Or all three of them off one. Anyway, whatever the case is, you don't want to overload the back circuit. So what I do when I'm doing this, sorry, I'll put it there, and I'm going to go ahead and plug her in the front here. Okay, so she's plugged in the front. And now she's on, as you can see. So we're going to wait for that to... Uh, boil up and that's going to take a little bit of time so what we're going to do oh i don't even know why i'm going in here why am i going in here we don't need anything in here what i do want to get holy crap i'm dropping everything man seriously okay so what kind of potatoes are we going to have with it well we're getting the betty crocker okay and it's instant now instant potatoes have come a long way i'm telling you these taste awesome this is the roasted garlic one, okay? Really, really good. Uh, as far as the directions go, throw them out the window. And I'll tell you why here. I find if you follow the directions, A, you're going to have way too many potatoes. Too much potatoes. And B, uh, they end up too watery at point. So, you're going to learn the Jerry way. I know, I'm making you guys jiggle, aren't I? So what am I doing, you saying? I'm going to take everything that's in this package, and I'm going to pour it in here, but that's not what we're going to have for... This is just strict... Ooh, almost dropped that one for storage, okay? Okay. 
And we're going to do the second one too. Just because the box takes up space up there, the Tupperware is actually less space. So we're just putting it all in here. Even though we're not going to eat that, obviously. Tonight, actually, you don't even... Oh, my goodness. What the heck are you doing, boy? Making a mess. That's what I'm doing. Oh, you can smell it. Can you smell it? Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Oh, it smells good just like that, man. Okay, so before we end up knocking it over and spilling it, let's close her up. Because you know it's going to happen, right? Close you like that. Okay, so... Big thing is now we gotta wait, okay? Gotta wait until that's boiling. This is gonna take a little bit of time to cook. And so we just, we gotta wait. That's all there's to it. So, and that's the best part about video because in the magic of video, we can skip all the boring stuff. Alrighty, boys and girls, hopefully this is turning out here. Oh, okay, so what we wanna do, because the thing does call for milk, uh, While well, this is turning out, hopefully it's not too uh, greeny. Actually, maybe we should switch this and put the other camera on. Hey, that's what we're All right, do. we switched cameras. So this camera's a little bit better. Okay, so you want to get yourself an empty uh, container, right? And what we're going to do is you're going to take a little bit of milk because it does call for some milk. Now, I made the mistake. Well, I wasn't thinking. What you should do is pour a little bit of milk in, just a little bit of milk into a little glass, like a little bit, little bit. Like, I mean a little bit. And let it warm up to room temperature, which I didn't do. How much do you put in? Eh, psh, take a guess. Don't go by the recipe. So we'll put that away. But you want just a little bit of milk in there with it. So now we're at the final stages here. Uh, the beans or the mix, the peas, whatever, carrots. They're heating up nicely. We're getting ready to cook the meat. But we got to get the potatoes in here ready to rock and roll. This is boiling right now I can see the little bubbles coming up in there so that's good so we're gonna unplug it so it can cool down after because we gotta before we start eating we're gonna pile everything out of the way here so I apologize for the light here maybe I should uh, does that make it a little bit better from the back there you go I'm not so dark okay so we're just gonna pull this out here and we're gonna get our potatoes up here ready to go fork ready to stir Okay, so the reason we don't go by the recipe is because you don't want to be eating that much. Woo, that's hot. Son of a, woo, gunners. Look at that steam, huh? Okay, so you're going to put in here roughly what you think you want to eat for potatoes. So that looks good to me. So I put 400 milliliters of water in here. And I almost used all of it. I probably put a little bit much. But you know what? Not a big deal. Then you're just going to take it. Never mind no measuring cup. And you're going to pour a bunch in. And then you're going to stir it. Try to get it thickened up. Yeah, I think it'll put a little bit much water in. That's okay because we're going to pour some more of this in. And I know it's a little, oh, see, I'm not even, there we go. So then you're going to stir it all in nicely, and it's going to thicken as you're stirring. And that's what you want. You want to get that consistency, but you want to stir it really good. Get all those granules. There's no dry granules on the wall or anything like that. Probably could use just a little bit more to thicken it up just a little bit. And since that's wet, we're not going to use that. We'll just put a couple of scoops like that. So we've used not quite a whole package here, but I don't even think we're close to a whole package. But at any rate, I want to do this fairly quick as possible. And then what you're going to do, mm -mm -mm. while you have your spoon, take some margarine. You get a good healthy scoop of margarine in there. I know, using my fingers, but you got no choice sometimes, right? Mm. Put your lid on. So now it's going to retain the heat. 
and if it pops open just close it again real quick so now it's going to retain that heat to melt the margarine which is what we want and all right on to the next right, stage next stage we've got our meat we've got our pan and we're going to take pan cooking spray give it a shake and give your pan a good lining there you go done now, big thing here, okay, get that hooked up, okay, let's get you guys turned here, okay, you want to make sure your windows are completely open, this is why cooking this meal is not an every night type deal, okay, so you want to make sure you have ventilation, this is butane, not propane, okay guys, then you want to get it on its lowest possible heat without shutting off. The lowest possible flame there, okay? And that's what's going to heat up your pan. Okay, you don't want a big flame. Why? Because, ah, see, that's not even I'm blurry here now, aren't I? No, oh, maybe not. Okay, so, oh, why is this? Okay, so you don't want a high heat. Why? Because it'll burn, okay? And then you'll end up filling the cab with smoke and all kinds of other crap that you really don't want. Number two. See that I have this wooden table, okay? If you don't have this, then you need to do this outside, okay? Uh, the reason being is because everything in here is plastic. Plastic, rubber, whatever, material. Nothing is of a wood surface, okay? And this thing does get hot, okay? It does cool down very quickly after you're done, but it gets hot. So you want this kind of surface to make sure you're not doing any damage to anything and your truck don't catch on fire, okay? Because that's, I'm pretty sure, the last thing you want. Uh, now, the Europeans have been cooking like this for years. Uh, the Burton stove was specifically designed for truckers in the truck for cooking. So, and that's why it comes with the little butane canisters, not propane tanks. Okay, guys that cook with propane tanks in your truck, be very, very careful. You could get into a lot of trouble. Uh, those things are really unpredictable, okay? Ah, God darn, you guys are crooked, man. What the heck did I do here? I have no idea what I did. Okay, so, we're on to the meat stage. Yes, we are. Now... She's getting there. Yep. Got to wait for it to heat up for a second or two. This, like I said, potatoes are cooking. Beans are in here. Or peas and carrots. So we're about to cook our meat. All right. Time to put the meat in. Get a hole over there. Oh, listen to that right off the bat, eh? Woo, baby. Mm. Always carry paper towels on hand for wiping. Okay, so I just want to show you real quick. I meant to do it earlier before I open it up. This is seasoned pork loin center steaks, Montreal steak spice, okay? It was $5 for four of them, okay? I cut it in half and I only took two. So I have two two dinners with these, which is awesome for five bucks, okay? The potatoes don't cost next to nothing. And so now you're going to want to cook this on low. It's probably going to take us about 10 minutes or so, which is great for the potatoes to heat up here, which they're doing just fine. The beans are doing just fine. So we're going to go ahead and cook up these uh, pork loins. Mmm, look at that, eh? Doesn't that look yummy? Yes, sir, Bob. Alrighty, so I know we're crooked here. So important thing, too, while you're doing this, guys is to clean up and put your stuff away while you do it. We're working in a small space, so you don't need a lot of clutter. This thing, you want to get it away from the flame. So get it in your cupboard, and get it put away, right away. I don't know why, it's just, you know, recommended. Uh, my potato powder, getting put away. While I'm waiting for that side of the steak to cook up, we are putting her away. What else can we put away? We're gonna keep these out because that's where the leftovers are gonna go in for the beans and the carrots. Just thinking, is there anything else up there I need? Nope, we got our potatoes here. They're still heating up. So we're gonna put them down here. 
And we're just going to take a quick look at our beans. And I don't know why I keep saying beans. It's not beans. It's peas. See? Peas and carrots. They're cooking nicely here. Oh, ah. Mm, yeah. That's hot. Dope. All right. So we got to continue getting ready here. And I'm trying to turn the camera here so it's good enough. But anyway, what I forgot to do, I, I threw out the can by accident. So we're going to take our... Uh, veggies and we're gonna pour them completely into the Tupperware because we want to get rid of some of that juice otherwise it's going to be hard to pull out right so we don't get rid of that just yet take our lid if I can find it because we can always add water to it afterwards when we reheat tomorrow and then you just, oh, I'm not even showing you guys. What the hell's the matter with me here? Okay, so, put the lid on top and just pour some of this water out. You don't need all of it. There we go. And then immediately pop the lid back on so she's sealed. So retain the heat. That's what we want to do. Okay. So we're going to put this out of the way. Where'd my paper towel go? Counter's dirty or wet. Okay, so we got to flip those steaks. You seeing them? Don't they look yummy? When we're cooking on low enough heat, we can use the plastic fork. Okay, those steaks are still cooking. So we're going to go ahead and put this up out of the way here. Here we go, check that out, boys and girls. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Alrighty, boys and girls, we're just about done the meat here. Yep. Yeah. Alright, but she's done. Let's just take one out and see here. I know you guys can't see it really good. Ah, let's see if we can dip this down here a bit. Oop. Let's give her a cut. Oh yeah, she's good. So, quickly here, while we have time, we're going to shut the uh, fry pan off. Now what you're going to want to do real quick, while it's still hot, and of course, taking too much time here, pour some water in, okay? And then let it sit while it's hot. What's the reason for this, you ask? Well, it's how you're going to clean your pan, right? And you want the hot fry pan to heat up that water. And whatever crusties are in there from cooking will become so soft that you can just wipe it out. Okay? So, we're going to finish getting everything else All ready right, here. So, you guys remember we put the uh, butter in there. Or margarine or whatever you want to call it. And this is where... See, it's all nice and liquidy. We're going to stir it right in. And boy, is it going to be good. Of course, good. I can't hold the camera while stirring. So, we're going to do it like this. Get that margarine right in there. Oh, that just adds to it big time flavor-wise. And we've got a really nice consistency. Look at that. I mean, absolutely fantastic. See, I ended up, like I said, I, I, and I mentioned it earlier when I said I put too much water in. So I ended up doing a little bit more than what I wanted, as you can see. Um, but, mm, I'll end up eating that. Not a big deal. But always try to, once you get it down pot, you know, only put in what you think you're going to eat for the night. Because making this is really easy. So, we are done. Okay. There is the final product. There we go. Now that I got the light source good, we got our drink. And I just want to show you from start to finish. 707. So just a few minutes under the hour to get that done. And we're sitting here in our swiveled seat. Okay. We're going to watch some TV. 
and we're going to have a delicious dinner. Anyway, that's cooking with me. Uh, I haven't done one of these cooking videos just of me in the truck cooking a full meal. But before it gets cold, we're going to eat it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll talk to you later.